Good morning and welcome to St Mary's on this special day of Mothering Sunday or Mother's Day. My name is Andrew, I'm the minister here at St Mary's and we're transmitting live. There are only two other people in this room to help me to make this happen so that we can worship together. Though we might be separated by space, we are joined together today. My voice is a little husky, I've been uh, suffering with laryngitis, and if you hear a small cough, it's because I just need to clear my voice. The service that we will be going through together, worshipping with, is something that we created today. And sadly we can't do that together in this building, but we can to do, do it together from our homes, from other places as we gather. So we praise God who loves us. God who cares. And this morning we light these candles. Remind us the love of God is like a light in our darkness. We praise you, our God, for all mothers who have loved and laughed and laboured as they cared for their children. We praise you, our God, for all mothers who have wept in sorrow and joy for their children. We praise you, our God, for Jesus, born of a woman and nurtured in her love and for Mary, a reminder of your patient waiting love. Blessed be God forever. So let's have a moment of quiet. And so we pray, God of love, passionate and strong, tender and careful. Watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Bible reading this morning I chosen from Luke's Gospel. And Jesus visits two ladies. As Jesus and his disciples went on their way, they came to a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him in her home. She had a sister named Mary, who sat at the feet of the Lord and listened to his teaching. Mary, Martha was upset over all the work she had to do. So she came and said, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to come and help me. The Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled over so many things, but just one thing is needed. Mary has chosen the right thing and it will not be taken away from her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I've been watching and involved in the events of these last weeks and days, I've been reminded of this story. And I want to think about Mary in particular. Mary who sat at the feet of Jesus. Spent time focusing on him, being present with him. Nothing else 
was important. For many of us, we have been forced to stop doing things that we usually do. Our daily life has changed. Our habits are patterns. And we now have space and time. And for many, that means separation and isolation. But the calling is, I believe for us, to be like Mary. That Jesus is present here with us. He knows no limit, no boundaries. He is present everywhere and with everyone. We are called to be like Mary, to sit and listen, to be in his presence. When my wife and I were first married on our honeymoon, we sat in a restaurant watching a lot of couples sitting in silence having meals together, wondering why. Of course, our new love, we just wanted to talk and talk and share. But as years go on, I have begun to learn that to be in someone's presence who you deeply love is most profound when you don't need to talk. Don't need to say anything. So often you know what the other is thinking. Nowadays, if we go out to rest and our eyes, brows will be raised as we see someone or hear something and we smile because we know what the other is going to say or think. We've been called to spend time with Jesus. Time in that intimate place where it's not important to speak but to be. And out of that space, words might come. Our worries, our hopes, our dreams, our troubles. But to start, is to start just being in his presence. If you're listening and wondering how do you do that, simply find a space that's comfortable. Be still and just say, Lord Jesus, Help me to be in your presence and to know that you are here. And as we do that, day by day, we will be filled with love. We will be strengthened. And at the heart of this, this is prayer. Being in his presence, communing with our Lord Jesus, being at one with him, Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we invite you into our lives, into our homes, that we might know your stilling presence. When words fail us, when prayers seem absent, when our minds are whizzing and whirling. Lord, help us to be still in your presence, to be filled with your love, to be strengthened for the day, and to be planted in our hearts and minds a hope for today and for a future. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We're now going to have a moment of, of quiet, a space where I will play. Be still for the presence of the Lord. Just said, suggest that you may sit and close your eyes or focus on something that's particularly important. Maybe a picture of a family member in your room or, or some flowers you've been given. And just be, be still.
the words of that hymn. Be still for the presence of the Lord. The Holy One is here. Come bow before him now with reverence and fear. In him no sin is found. We stand on holy ground. Be still for the presence of the Lord. The Holy One is here. Be still for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. He burns with holy fire. With splendour he is crowned. How awesome is the sight, our radiant King of light. Be still. For the glory of the Lord is shining all around. Be still. For the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal, to minister his grace. No work too hard for him. In faith receive from him. Be still. For the power of the Lord is moving in this place. Let us continue in prayer. Lord Jesus, we invite you by your Holy Spirit to move in this place, in our homes, in our hospitals, in our care homes, in our supermarkets, in our government, in all of these places. And Lord, we pray particularly for mothers. Lord, you chose Mary to be the mother of your son, Jesus, and she trusted in you. We pray for mothers and those who care like mothers, that they will trust in the power of the Most High. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For God, you inspired Mary to sing of the great things that you had done for her because you lifted her up from nothing. We pray for mothers and those who care like mothers, especially when they feel that they cannot cope or are nearing to giving up. Bless them with inspiration and strength to fulfil the high calling of caring for children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray to you, our Lord God, who alone makes us dwell in safety. We pray for all who are affected by the coronavirus, through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For doctors, nurses and medical researchers, that through their skill and insights, many will be restored to health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Most merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And I invite you to join with me as we say the words of the Lord's Prayer. 
our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. These flowers here will be going to mothers today. And so we spend a moment to thank God for mothers or those who have been mother-like to us. Thank you God for the love of our mothers. Thank you God for their care and concern. Thank you God for the joys they have shared with us. Thank you God for the pains they have borne for us. Thank you God for all that they give us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I'm going to play words song based on the words that Mary sung when she realised that the Lord had called her to give birth to the Lord Jesus Christ. It comes from part of the Bible, it's often called the Magnificat, and it's written in a wonderful hymn called Tell Out My Soul, The Greatness of the Lord.